on this episode of Haven't Gotten It Right So Far, we have this from Insider Fandom. New Resident Evil movie with higher budget in development by Screen Gems. Now, this is just a rumor. I think this would be, I guess, Resident Evil 7 if they go with the Mila Jovich uh, Alice storyline. But has there been a franchise, video game franchise movies or just in general... That has been total 100% misses every single time. I mean, you had one of the greatest franchises of all time, Resident Evil, the video games. You're doing everything right with that. And now that you're making more of these games, you're trying to reinvent yourself with uh, Biohazard and Village and things like that. So you're trying to at least be a little bit different as time progresses. Is it as good as the originals? I don't know. They all, you know, to each their own. But it's still nice to see that a video game company is trying to do new things. However, the movies, the live-action movies, have have all been terrible. I think at this point, though, Resident Evil video game-wise, 1 to 3, I think, already came out before they made the live-action movies. Why would you decide at that point to go in your own original idea direction with Alice, this regular person that ends up being a a super powered clone by the if i'm not mistaken is that what happened later on that they were just mass producing these psychic telepath alices that were just doing all these things like what 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 was the idea behind this and then it gets even worse though because you can do some things right though with the animated movies You did some pretty cool things with Chris and Leon with that hallway of zombies where they were doing the John Wick fight with all of them. So you have the ability to do things right though. But then with the live action, just everything wrong. And then they made what? The Return or the the Raccoon City movie like a year or two ago? Why would it just... It was really funny though. When that movie was coming out though, they had the, uh, the actual movie still shots... And then they had the cosplayers that are doing it for a fraction of the price. And they look so much better than the multi-million dollar studio pumping money into a flop. So now it's reported, again, complete rumors out there. We're not going to know anything for for quite some time until this thing actually drops. But it's reported that they're going to keep going in the Milojovic direction. So to what end? At this point, just... Is the goal of this movie to bring in Lady Demetrez or something like that, though? Because, obviously, Big Lady is now a fan favorite of the Resident Evil universe, so... Is the goal of this movie to be introduced in live-action Lady Demetrez to the audience? And they're gonna hope that this is gonna sell the movie. I don't... I don't... I don't see that happening, because, like I said, this might be... Maybe... Maybe the Scorpion King franchise. This might actually be... Yeah, this might be worse than that, because if you haven't checked out lately, there's like five different Scorpion King movies. Yeah, right? The, the movie with The Rock, though. Obviously, it's not starring The Rock. They just decided, let's just keep pumping out more of these. And not telling anyone that they exist at all, and put them on some, like, weird straight-to-video ser- services or something like that, though. But Resident Evil, it's kind of in the same ballpark. They're all bad. They're all bad. There's nothing redeeming about any of them. And... I don't, I don't possibly see how they're going to do right by this one if they make it. So, in the end, what do you guys think about that one?